or when I walk into a newsroom and a youngish publisher very proudly tells me, Mario, here we are digital first. I'm already not feeling well. Just like I don't feel very good when an older, closer to my age publisher says, you know, the good old days, here print comes first. Uh, those two extremes are both wrong. The story comes first. The future is about telling stories across platforms, which you have heard uh, repeatedly this morning. And obviously, one of the platforms that uh, I am most uh, enthused about is the tablet. One of the opportunities of the tablet for all of you in this room is for you to revive publications and archives of materials that you have sitting there, that you've had them for years. The tablet is a great opportunity for you to bring back a magazine that you probably uh, killed years ago. There was a Sunday or a weekend magazine. You could no longer afford to publish it on paper and deliver it. Uh, Condé Nast has done that very successfully with Gourmet Magazine. It was a food magazine that would come out every month. They killed it 14 years ago, and they had 10,000 recipes. So now Gourmet is back as a tablet edition. When you talk about rethinking the newsroom, um, normally what you will see is uh, changes that are sometimes architectural, but you get in there and you attend the 10 o'clock meeting and you realize, well, the architecture, the walls came down, but these people are planning a newspaper here in the 10 o'clock meeting. Nobody is talking digital, nobody is talking about video, but the publisher is very proud to tell you that there are no walls in here. The walls of the editors are more difficult to tumble down than the walls of the building, I can tell you that. And like I always say, there are many editors my age who will be around for 10 more years. You cannot kill them, you cannot get rid of them. So you've got to sort of change them little by little. Uh, most newsrooms go for the circle. So this is what you see. You create, put a circle in the middle, and that will guarantee you that everybody will become a more digital platform. I have seen many of these circles I don't believe in these circles. I just visit them every week. They look very nice. They cost a lot to do. And then you sit these people there, and the five print people are talking to each other, and the digital people are talking to each other, and nobody is talking. So in a perfect world, I will do a pretzel. <laughs> no, really. I propose the pretzel. We are doing it in one newspaper with a strawberry in the middle. So what is a pretzel? Since these people are not going to talk to each other anyway, when you put them in a circle, put the print people here, the print uh, sort of driven people, put the, all the digitally minded people there and have a rotating little circle populated constantly by editors who have one foot in one and one foot in the other. I believe that the pretzel and the strawberry is a way to do it. You have to approach advertising more creatively and I only touch upon that here. One of the main elements of the tablet, which is very different from online, is that once you got me into your tablet, don't get me out, don't link me, link me to online, don't get me out of the house. Create a very cozy suite in which everything happens, including the advertising. So your advertisers should not really uh, take you immediately to AmericanExpress.com or Quantas.com. That is not the idea. You create an advertising suite, and that is where the new, the daily, Murdoch's daily, does very well. Why? Because from the very beginning, when they could not get real tablet-driven advertising, they went out and they created these things. Start with a clear path to movement and navigation. That's the key, how I go from here to there. Remember, there are no page numbers, and therefore I may be here and suddenly I, I want to go across to three other sections. How do you get from here to there? That's very important. So. The first important rule, when you design for print, you design for the eye and for the brain. Here you design for the eye, the brain, and the finger. And you have to make sure that all three of these are going to be coordinated somehow. We are learning now that just like we know, most people don't use, don't read newspaper tablet editions vertically. 92% read horizontally, so many newspapers are no longer doing a vertical version because it's a lot of work. Second, I am now finding out that moving down is too 
15 minutes ago too much like online. So you can go online. The preference is for people to swipe. Whether you're reading an article or switching to another topic, no movement this way, only that way. So that's basically uh, in terms of movements what we know. Then the first important page, the landing page, where reading and navigation begin is that first page where you begin. One of the best papers in terms, and the most profitable tablet is in uh, Norway, BG. And this is how they begin. It has no resemblance whatsoever to their newspaper. They have one story as a lead story that may not be the lead story of the newspaper. Then comes the article read page. They come here to read. For journalists in the room, this is the best news you've had. They do read here. They read long articles here. I attribute it to the fact that you never know how long the piece is. In print, you see the article and say, I don't have time for this. Here, if you seduce me, uh, I don't know how many swipes I'm going to go. If you're going to hire only two people for your new tablet operation, one must be the editor curating the edition, the journalist, the storyteller. The other one should be a photo editor slash videographer. Those are the two genres that have to come together here. Photos, they can never get enough photography. If you were to ask me today, I would say photo galleries are more important than videos here. People love to just flip through 30 photos of one event. So you need to hire the best photographers, the best photo editors. Photos, um, extremely important. If you are serious about a tablet, there are four disciplines that you're going to talk about, and they are storytelling. These people have to be together in the room. The storytellers, the advertising people, the technology people, and the financial people to really help on how are we going to pay for this, what kind of business model you're going to create. Those are the four, uh, the four uh, disciplines.